Hello, everybody. Hello. For some reason, it's not showing up on my phone. Are we coming in? Because the intro didn't play on my phone. Oh. It played on the computer. So I'm a little confused. What's going on with my stupid thing? Oh, now it's showing us there. Yep, there we Okay. Are. Okay. I don't know. We had a, a glitch with Starlink earlier. I had to reboot it. I didn't even know that. So, all right. So let's see who all's in here. We got Matt AK's in here. Ashley's in here. PTL Fabrication's in here. Mr. JR's in here. Good to see you, JR. Remember to set your alarm, huh? Everybody's <laughs> chit chatting back and forth. There's nice. old school. Let's see here. There's Brooke Trout. P and J's in the house by the looks of it. I didn't see them pop up here, but JR's or Brooke Trout saying hi. Oh. Matt AK. Nice. Is Jerry from Butler Family Farm. Oh, good. And is just Jason Keto and more. Is Clint. And there's sourdough, Alaskan sourdough. Good to see you in here, my friend. And Miss Alone is in the house. Hi, Alone. Maybe if I can get to click. There we go. Oh, my gosh. I didn't braid your hair. No, that's all right. Cool. doesn't always have to be braided. Baby. Matt says he has to leave in five minutes. But we'll leave the stream going long oh. gone. Oh, I appreciate that. Alone says she can nice hear us loud you. and clear. Good. All right. Did the intro play for you guys? <laughs> Somebody said five by five, and Ed says uh, 25. <laughs> 25. Good to see Ed. Five times five is 25. It is. So he's being smart ass. Ah. And it's Lee in Maine. Good to see you. Jesse and uh, Lisa from Lazy Days Ahead. And Jerry from Butler Family Farm is Amy on uh, High Life on the High Line. Yeah, that's what I figured out. It, we didn't have any birds up there, JR. And there's Charles and Annalyn. Good to see you guys from the Philippines. There's back, Backyard uh -huh. Trucker. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> Tiffany from Canadian Family Life is in here. Uh -huh. Tiffany says, sorry, I am, I am late. Had to take the dogs. Oh, no, we just oh, started, we Tiff. Just You're fine. We just got here ourselves. And there's Dusty Bottom Boys. Good to see you in here. Billy Sutton's in the house. Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing any questions. It didn't play the intro. That's weird. Hmm. It's still glitching. It's such a pretty place. And there's AK Froggy down in Houston, Alaska. There's Grizzly Acres Homestead. Good to see you. And there's Alaska Cut the Cord. <laughs> I, feel it. I bet it's Phyllis. Yep. Could be Adam. Hi, Adam. RM. Billy, AK Dog Mom, looks like AK Dog Mom's in the house. I must not have my chat set to uh, the newest because it's mm -hmm. showing names after people are greeting them. Uh -huh. Oh, Ed said he thought it was a math quiz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How's the boat life there, Ed? Yeah. Matt's garage is in the house. Brooks Russ says, put you guys on the big screen, turning the phone down to comment. Not a problem. Oh, nice. Urban Bucket Homestead, good to see you in here. Yeah, see, there's, there's Matt's garage. I don't know why it didn't show up sooner. Mm -hmm. And there's Boot Knife. And I think we're about down at the bottom. Yes, we are. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. So, not much going on this week. We, uh, I spent four days in town, unfortunately. It was awful. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of going into town, nor is Sarah. I don't go. And we got a, a lot of stuff done where I did. A yeah. lot of running around, getting stuff to do the drawers for her art studio. Get all the mail that contained a lot of the parts for her art studio mm -hmm. and for the bathroom. Because we're going to be redoing some stuff in the bathroom as well. Yes. So we don't spray shower water all over the whole floor. And the walls. Yep. And the dog. <laughs> 
And anything standing in the Yeah, because usually if somebody's in the, in the shower, Zeus is right there with them. Mm -hmm. he, he is a Velcro dog. He know. doesn't get in the tub. Though. No, no. He, he's allergic to water when it comes to he that manner. He, uh, he puts up a heck of a fight when it comes time for bath time. Yeah. Unless Too much it's snow. for me. Unless it's snow. You know, if I take him all roll around the snow, he's happy. Mm -hmm. So I might need to do that. I think that would help him. Just can't really get him uh, lathered up that way. No, but... Do um, you remember how much the muslin cost alone just after that? I don't. Um, it is inexpensive, and we bought an entire bolt of it. Bolt. And it was a 15-yard bolt. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And wide. Very wide. Yeah. If I remember alone, I'll, uh, I'll send you an email with the price on it. Yeah. I can look yeah. it on, on the credit card receipts. It was the only I think. Mm -hmm. I think that was the only thing I bought at Joanne's that day. I'm sure, yeah. Um, but that area, this the studio, if you haven't seen the video yet, is coming along really, really good. Mm -hmm. We just got to do the drawers, really, and the trim around the windows. And the, as I said in the video, the library is going to wait until after I move the flue pipe, the cook stove. And then we'll be able to finish off the finish library. Finish the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The unbleached <laughs> muslin is a little finer than I had expected. I didn't see it in person before I bought it. Um it's almost like a, a reasonable quality sheet. Yep. And it, um, I thought it was going to be a little more rough textury, which would have been interesting, especially. But it's tight enough so we can pull it so that it it holds the the um, saggy parts of the uh, insulation. insulation. Yeah, I could have I could have avoided it. that it had I had a whole bunch of. Uh, Stiff wire. I could have pushed it up in there and held it in place using mm -hmm. wire, but yeah, but... didn't have enough of that stuff to do. And with the the um, battens, battens, it doesn't look bad at no. all. And for who's going to see it, it's going to be me working up there after Rob gets his studio done. <laughs> right. And neither of us are looking at the ceiling when we're working and thinking. No, I worked in a garage before. Yep, it, it was not pretty, and my work is not pretty while it's being done. It's quite. <laughs> And that's well, it says the ceiling looks good. It's fun. And there's Marketplace Boutique. Good to see you in here. Marketplace Boutique. Yep. Nice. And Jerry is saying to Miss Alone, thanks for coming over to our live tonight. Oh. Nice. Everybody's greeting Marketplace, greeting each other. Let's see. Okay. Urban Bucket says, I'm just going to listen today and not talk much. Not a problem, Urban Bucket. That's and don't fun. forget, if you have questions, you know, um, put a couple of thumbs up. Let's see if this is going to do it. Yeah. There, it goes. there it goes. Or put Q for a question or something like that. Something Be creative. That way we know you have a question. Because um, mm -hmm. I tend to skip over everybody chatting back and forth unless it's prevalent to anything that we're saying. If it's just chit chat back and forth. So we don't get too far behind on the chats. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Sarah had a uh, blue line going through her chin. Oh. <laughs> And everybody's greeting one another. Ashley is dropping links. Thank you, Ashley. Thank Appreciate you, Ashley. That. Yeah. And last cut the course says, is the trail to the tracks holding up or is it starting? No, it's fine. It's okay. It's yeah, got a... Uh, don't about, go off the trail. Yeah, don't go off the trail. <laughs> it, right now, if you are on the trail, you get about, a, about two foot of hard pack. Mm -hmm. But if you go off the trail, the snow machine starts sinking. We have not been getting the crown. Oh, mm -mm. it's a little crunchy, but it's a very thin layer. Yep. So as soon as you go off the trail, you start sinking. I went out on the snow machine today to check the wolf set that I put out. And I was up to the uh, bottom of the tunnel really quick in snow. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I thought I was going to have to come back and get my new winch and pull myself out. That's something you probably should make a little place for. I yeah, I've got, a, I've got to put a box on the back of this yeah. tundra because that's usually what I'm riding. Everybody's greeting one another. That's good. Mm -hmm. And is Kevin from Tuber Chat. Good to see you in here, Kevin. If you guys are not familiar with Tuber Chat, you should be if you're a YouTuber. Go into his chat. Check him out. Definitely. He will help you grow. Yeah, he did a lot. He's helped me. us tremendously. Mm -hmm. He's made it helped us make a lot of good friends in here. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of them in here right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, Brooke Trust says the whole room is looking nice. Yes, it mm, is. Mm -hmm. The window trim is going to be the last thing that gets done. It'll probably be a year or so because I'm running low on birch, birch wood right now. So right. I dropped about 15 trees out back the other day, and I'm going to be selecting what I cut to bring back to mill into um, trim pieces for the mm -hmm. house. So I'm going to try to take the straightest ones I can and see what has heartwood coloring and use oh, that. Okay, and then it's going to get really, really nice for about 20 minutes. And, <laughs> and then I'm going to get in there and make a big mess. Yep, yeah, pretty much what she already has, but that's okay. Well, yeah, everything is stuffed either on top of the table or under the table in boxes. Oh, I once got the, a lot of stuff. Once the drawers are done in that room, it's going to be a that lot easier for her and for myself as well because my computer desk is covered with camera gear. Yeah, And you know how I feel about drawers. Yep. Because you remember probably the, the Husky toolbox in the kitchen. Love the drawers. Yep. I like one layer of stuff in my drawers. I can open it up and say, ah, there it is. <laughs> Just what I need. Ashley, oops, sorry. Clicked wrong one again. Uh, Ashley's greeting everybody and reminding folks not to forget to hit the thumbs up oh, button because it does Ashley, help thank us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ashley, for reminding folks of that. Mm -hmm. And Jerry says, same thing. Be sure no, to hit the thumbs thing. up. Appreciate Thanks, that, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Anybody's greeting Tuber Chat? Nice. And Ed says, I had an old army parachute in, in my bedroom oh, yeah. ceiling growing up. Yeah. Right. Nice. That probably had a little sheen to it. I bet it was interesting. It's almost, well, it is silk, isn't it? I don't know about the old shoots. I don't know. Silk is extremely strong and dense, yep. especially for the thickness. Yeah, and they is. get a, put some kind of seal around it. Mm. Brick Trust says, any more wolf sightings? Um, yes and no. I think since the last time we had a live, we saw one one set of tracks go through, mm -hmm. and that was about it. And they're just they're too close to the house, so I do have a um, a set set out there right now. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we up lost on the hill a bit. Yeah, up on the hill a little bit towards the area that they were running in. Unfortunately, we lost a chicken the other day, and we don't know why. So it she sacrificed herself and went to bait. It was. It the, wasn't the bait. a wolf, though. No, no, it, no, it, the wolf it was it in the chicken coop. It was an old. It was an old. It was our oldest hen that passed. Oldest. So she's probably about four years old or so, five years old or so, and she was the of, of the Australop. She was the biggest ninny of them all. She'd let the others bully her out of food. Yeah. So I think that might have been part of the problem. If I see it happen again, I'm going to have to segregate a couple of them so we don't have that problem. She was because she was yeah she was she was healthy yeah. until, until about a week or so ago, right. and then she went downhill. So it might have just been something wrong with her. I don't know. Uh, none of the other birds are showing any signs of mm -hmm. issues. Yeah. You know, I hate losing. But birds. she let me pet her, so that told me she wasn't quite herself. Well, no, she's well, she's always let me pick her up. Yeah, but she doesn't. Well, you don't go out there enough. <laughs> but the but the girls are back into production big time. Oh, We're yes. getting four to five eggs um, a, day. a day. And so we have six hens and one rooster left. Mm -hmm. So we should be at least here soon. We should be getting about a half a dozen eggs a day. Yeah. And we'll start bringing those into town once we go into town to uh, hand out to friends. Yeah. And normally we do water glass too. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, but we had an issue with one of our buckets of water glass eggs. Remember when you do water glassing, do not stack deep. Mm -hmm. um, we went with a couple of broken eggs and it ruined the whole batch. Yeah. It, ooh, I ooh, opened ooh. the lid up and oh my Lord, oh. I had to take it outside and I had to dispose of all the eggs and there's probably about three dozen in there, maybe Too four many. dozen. Too so, many. so don't. It's, so it's a good thing that the girls started laying when they did. Mm hmm. And that was in a, I think a two and a half or three gallon bucket. So I'm probably just going to use the mm -hmm. same size buckets, but I'm only going to put up, up to a certain height in there. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to start doing them in quart jars, one of the two where I know they're not going to have as many in there and right. crush each other. Yeah. So. Well, also, I think we, did we move? No, that one's been sitting in that's that spot. It's been in there for ever. Those ones, are, those ones, that's the batch I did last June. Right. So we haven't moved since then. Yep. So they haven't been jostled. Nope. Let's see. I just hit the first time I've had that problem in a little while. All right. I come back where it was. 
forgot the question there. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's greeting Kevin. Kevin is greeting folks. Um, Ed says, or Jer says, Ed, I had one covering my Porsche. Oh. And Tuber Chat is greeting a bunch of folks. Actually, Ashley's dropping cool. links and greeting Kevin at Tuber Chat. Matt's garage says, that would be cool looking room, Ed. Yeah, mm -hmm. it would. Mm hmm. And RM says, question, uh, thumbs up. Are there many links in your area? I've only seen Lynx tracks three or four times over the last three years. Mm -hmm. I've only seen the links once since we've been here, where it was probably within 200 yards of me. Mm -hmm. um, actually, no less than that, because I was in a barn and I seen it, and it was running on the little ridge over here. Mm -hmm. So within 100 yards of the house, it didn't stick a lot around very long. Mm -hmm. And Lee has a question. Will you and Sarah share your renovations on the bathroom? Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. We try to share everything yeah, we, we do, do so you guys have an idea of what it's really like up here for us. Because we get. We do a lot of things that are. Um, That's better. Because of necessity. You know, we like to have it this and we like to have it that, but it doesn't work up here. So you try something different and a lot of innovation, if you will. Yeah. It's going to, things change and evolve constantly. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. You know, the big thing is we wanted to have the house so it was really well, com so it was comfortable, comfortable and livable. And it's been that point for over a year now. Mm -hmm. And now we're just fine tuning. But I know how much Sarah is. Every time I get something done, she's going to come up with a new project. <laughs> <laughs> But that's all right. I don't mind. It keeps me busy not in the bars. Keeps him out of the <laughs> Only bar I want to do is go down to the sandbar. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and do some fishing. Oh, dear. Yes. Ben uh, mm. says to JR, we will, well, you win parachute, parachute bragging, bragging contest. Yes. Darn it. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> Backyard truck says to Ashley, you are doing a great job putting links up. Big help. Yes. Oh, yes. Ashley is great with that. He's very efficient. And thorough. Yep. And doing it on his phone. The guy does it so quickly, it's unbelievable. It. And Brooke Trout says, Come on. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Brooke Trout says, You have your own sawmill. Yes, I do. Yes. Um, it was oh it was we tried to go. We tried to get it in included in the sale of the house and it, they wouldn't do it. And we wound up having to purchase it afterwards. And it's a um, a Hudson Sawyer. I think I can do up to either 24 or 27 inch logs with it. Mm -hmm. um, when we got here, it only had two sets of tracks. So I can only do about eight to 10 foot boards. And I purchased a third track for it. So right. I can do up to I think 16 foot uh, worth of planks. Um, yeah. Sorry for saying, um, I need to build a new bed for it this summer. And we'll mm -hmm. be ordering the parts for that here when we order the metal for one of the outbuildings here in the next week or so for and, the roof. yeah and i'm gonna i'm gonna put on i think i'm gonna do 20 foot track and i think i have 18 foot of um tracking itself mm -hmm. so it might give me a little wiggle room for a future to add on more if need be but i really doubt i'll ever need to do anything more than a probably 16. not longer and because i also have alaskan sawmills so i can use those as well mm -hmm. i've got two or three of them here i've got one that uh, Granberg, that Sarah bought me for Christmas our first year. Mm -hmm. And then I found boxes of parts for building them. <laughs> <Woohoo>! <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Yes. Yep. It's greeting one another. Let's see, back here. It says, hope you're doing well, Marketplace. Mm -hmm. I'm just greeting everybody. Nice. Let's see what Ed says to Matt. It's pretty cool looking up at the parachute safer than when you're <laughs> <or> airborne <laughs> school too, right, right? Yeah. <laughs> and there's ward how you doing ward Ward's down in the kenai area nice. and lee says thumbs up is the first thing i do before chat uh, on phone you need thanks, to lee. need to x out to join the chat again yep you do Oop. and is ira good to see you. ira how are you and mom oh, doing yes. we hope you're doing good down there in georgia ira says hope you enjoyed the good weather weekend we were able to have a great barbecue here mm -hmm. in south georgia before the the nats came Ooh, out Ooh, nats. yeah, yeah nats. we nats. actually nats. yesterday was beautiful we hit oh, 50 gorgeous. degrees yesterday yeah. and it is currently 49.7 outside <laughs> it's really nice the snow is going quickly mm -hmm. a little too quickly for my taste because 
it's going to be it, wet. it's not cool yet it's, it's going to be a wet ground quickly yeah, it's going to be wet um but we're not going below freezing at night our low last night was 36. yeah so i'd rather see us dip down into the mid 20s this time of year at nighttime because it's going to freeze that snow so i can get out to the woods to bring wood back yeah otherwise i'm not going to be doing a whole lot of wood until summer and there's other things that are really doing but we haven't had go anywhere season at all yet well really. we had it for about two days two days maybe and that was it yeah. just because that was the last time I went up on top of a mountain behind us. I hardly have been out. I Where did I go? We just went for we our walk. Went, we walked. Yeah, we do our walks down around the trail. But I haven't been able to take her up the hill this year because the snow's just, just been too bad. Too bad. Yeah, when I'm having a hard time on the tundra keeping a balance going up the hill, I'm not going to try to do it with Scandic. Yeah. You know, because it's it's pretty steep. Some places it's it's like this to get up. And I love being out. It just doesn't. Mm -hmm. Marketplace says we have some nasty coyotes this year. Ooh. Oh, really? We have coyotes here, but the wolves kind of keep them at bay. Mm -hmm. And they kind of stick through certain areas. And they poke around when the wolves are not around. Mm -hmm. But they have not been coming around to a, our area too no. much. Only the wolves come by the house. The, the coyotes stick down by the river. Mm-hmm. And it says, Sergeant, I didn't see you at Flash training today. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you want to put him out? Yes. He's squeaking. Marketplace says, sorry about your chicken. Unfortunately, it happens as part of keeping livestock. Yeah. Come on, Zuberto. Everybody's greeting Ira. Everybody's greeting one another. Brooke Trust says, I have two out of six chickens that let me pet them. One's named after me, <laughs> Little Polly. <laughs> Our chickens don't like affection too much, but I go out there and I, I purposely grab them up and, and mess with them a couple of times a week just so they get used to people and being handled. Um, little Orange, who is the smallest out of the, the chickens we've gotten, still the smallest. You know, we got mm -hmm. her three years ago, almost three years ago, and she's still the smallest chicken in the roost. She's just but like, she's actually friendly. She'll come up to you and peck at you and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Especially if I get, she likes snow for some reason. If I get snow in my boots, she comes running up and starts pecking at my shoes. <laughs> um, see, so yeah, Aki says, do you get ermines there? Cutest, most adorable little things, but they do love chickens. Um, we did. Yeah. Last year we had a couple of them, but one of them got into the chicken coop and the roost. We had two roosters that time, and they killed the ermine um and ermines are really cute. yeah we were really oh surprised my gosh, about they're that. cute first year here we had one yeah he followed me he everywhere came he came right up me to the, us he was really cute he come up look in the window i go outside he yep. followed me to the barn he followed me down to the outhouse he's as bad as a dog <laughs> you know yeah. and I was, was taking, really cute. I was taking out a lot of squirrels that's that fall oh that's and every cute. time i turn around I'm dropping a squirrel. I clean it. You know, I'm going to feed it to Zeus, you know, because they're small. It's not really going to make a meal for us. You know, because we both do like squirrel. Mm -hmm. And I set the, the carcass down on the on the wood bench out front while I go inside to wash my hands and grab a bag to put them in until ready to cook. I go back out there and he kept stealing them. So finally, I stopped skinning him. I said, here, just take the dang thing, set it down. And he zipped out there, grabbed it, ran <laughs> off. I'm like, it and ran. I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm like, you need to do your job. Go up the tree and get him instead of me having to shoot him out of the air, out right. of the trees. Yeah. Oh, but he was so cute. Yeah, he was. In the window. I've got little clips of him on the on TikTok and other parts of my YouTube oh. where I was at the yeah. barn. He was coming in and out from underneath the barn looking at me. Yeah, we haven't seen him. I haven't seen him in about a year. I don't think it was the same one that the chickens killed because it was a smaller one. Right, right. Uh, hey, Arlen, good to see you in here. So good evening, Rob and Sarah and everyone in the chat. PTL says, Sarah, what are your plans with your art, is it uh, for recreational and or do you going to sell your creations? You do beautiful work. How um, would you have that one? I don't I don't I know exactly that. yet. Um, I did sell when I made pottery and even when I made the paper and the sculptural forms, I did sell, but not well. Um, my work is quirky enough so it has a narrow audience. And talk about quirky. I'm finding that I really enjoy Healing, um, I don't know what you call it, when you take the, the bark off a 
birch or whatever birch tree with a, a draw knife. I enjoy doing that and I want to make chairs. John Hogan's well, who's making the chairs. Well, me. <laughs> John John Hogan sent up a, a tool that makes it so you can whittle down the um, ends of a log, a little piece of wood, piece of tree, and put it into a hole in the chair so you can put the chair together. Um, I also am thinking about finding a screw with a pretty head and putting things back and forth. It'll be very rustic. It will be very quirky. And so I don't know if it'll sell or not, and they'll be big to transport, but we're gonna have a group of chairs for our dining room. That's not the only show working for us. And I'll work on paper. Um, I The encaustic might sell, but the shop I was gonna put it in that I was liking, um, has a new encaustic worker, and I don't know if that will if that will work for maybe if they will take two encaustic people. It's an unusual medium anyway. But uh, we do have the friends um, um, Jeff and Isabel yep. have a tent downtown, which they sell wonderful things, and they've already told us they'd be happy and to put in put any in of the work one. that we do because mm -hmm. I do the wood turning, yeah, and custom furniture and stuff like that. Yeah, hmm. he's going to be full of himself. Yeah. Watch him. Hey, EG wife, good to see you in here. EG says, hello, everyone reading this. Hope all having a blessed day filled with joy, love and joy. Yes, thank you. We are. Now what are you crying about? In a whiny dog. Cry baby. Cry baby. I don't know about that dog. Who said Come that? around here. Come Thank over you, here. Daddy. Come here, Zeus. Go around. You want to be, uh, you want to be on TV again? Come here. We, we need... Like cows for him to chase. Cow something. There you go. There you go. Now you're you you are you are YouTube star. There. Again. Now you're a star. You're a good boy. Okay. Are you real better now? <laughs> Crazy mutt. Big feet uncontrolled. <laughs> and you can't put them up front because I've got stuff up front. Mm. Fish stuff. Danny, quickly. quickly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Look, look, this is it. You're going to get this. You're going to like it. Always going to be a bad puppy when we're both, when we're doing our lives. Everybody's greeting EG wife. Bread is smelling. Yeah, bread's out. I just pulled oh, it out. Good. Ashley's dropping links. NRM gives thumbs up saying, I've never won water glass eggs before. Do you think it might work to put them in a broad flat container rather than in a bucket? I don't know. I've never tried it. Maybe I'll see if I can find some uh, flat Tupperware or something like that down at uh, Willow Rose. I'll give that a try. I haven't um, seen it done that way, but that doesn't mean people don't. Yeah, the, the big thing with, with the water glassing is you need to make sure that they're 100% covered and you do your mixture properly. Um, and don't wiggle them around too much. Yeah, and don't jostle them around much afterwards. They, they, they That bucket was pretty much stacked top, you know, top to bottom, and I should have known better. But oh, yeah. I will try other containers this year to see if it'll work, see if there's a way I can stack them in places where I know where I would put them. Make it a little easier for all that. All right, he'll be quiet for a few minutes now that he's got his ninny. All right, everybody's chatting back and forth with Grizzly Acres. And Grizzly Acres is a local Talkeetman. I haven't met him yet, but we have talked quite a bit online. Yes, Adam. Or uh, Ward. I read your last name, Adams. Got my pirate cup and I got my drink inside. Tonight it's just vodka and orange juice. I wanted to drink the orange juice before it went bad. Mm -hmm. uh, Liam Murphy says, Rob, my friend's friend in Florida just posted a picture of, on Facebook of a panther caught on her ring doorbell. Did you see them oh, when wow. you lived in Florida? I've only yeah. seen them twice the whole mm -hmm. time I was in Florida. Yeah. FP, um, Florida Fishing Game always stated that the Panthers never went north of the Caloosahatchee River, which is about 30 miles south of us. Mm -hmm. And I had seen them at Babcock Webb Ranch twice. Yeah. Um, that was probably about 
10 years ago. And I have other friends in the Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte area that had seen them in that area, those areas as well. Nick Hogan might have seen one at one point too. My friend had a condo, a, a seasonal condo in Naples, and she had them right in her development. Yep. Fairly frequently. And Matt's I saw grab, one there. Matt's grass just arm. We have about one and a half gallon glass jar to be used for water glassing. No problem. That's probably it's the not best too size. Deep to create too much pressure on the bottom eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I need to find some. I need to find some really some wide neck or yeah, I guess wide neck mm -hmm. mason jars that are tall or a lot of a bunch of hermetic jars like I right. use for all the flour and stuff like that. Yeah, we used um plastic buckets. Yeah, we use plastic buckets. Mm -hmm. But they're two and a half gallons. I think I need to do less. I think so. Back there, Trucka says Florida has lots of panthers and they have bears among gators. Also among, mm. among gators. Yeah. Yeah. I remember they, they opened up the bear hunting season down in Florida a couple of years ago and they hadn't had bear hunting in I think about 10, 15 years. And they were shocked at how many people actually got bears. Oh, they didn't I, realize how many yeah. there were, but there I, was. I never saw a bear. Um, we had one in when I was. With the X, we had one in our backyard oh. when they had those fires north of 75 up off King's Highway. Wow. They had a whole bunch of bears come out of the woodwork up there. And oh. Port Myers and Naples and a few other places always had them coming into people's pools in the middle of summertime to escape the heat. Can't say I blame them. No, but who wants a bear in your pool? Not me. You think a dog is bad? Woo! It's a lot of fuzz floating around. <laughs> but the black bears down there aren't that super huge it's like the deer i don't call those deer they're dogs, no but they're dogs with antlers they're, yeah i i couldn't believe how small they were right upstate new york deer are way bigger yep and zebra cuts says easy wife hope you guys are doing well we hope you are too they're way up there what's your temperature up there uh easy wife you guys getting yeah. any warmer we are oh yeah let's see Mickey Froggy says back your truck. I guess I saw bears while canoeing the Swanee River in Florida. Yeah. I was not expecting that. Yeah. No, there's quite mm -hmm. a few bears. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see bears. Yeah, Bertrand says they have bobcats hanging mm -hmm. around Venice. Got to yes, keep an eye yes. on all my girls. Chickens, ducks, and, and chikars. Chuckers. Chuckers. Chuck I don't know what I don't that know. is. You have to watch dogs and cats too. Yeah. They'll take them. Yeah, you got to watch the coyotes too, really, in Florida. Yeah. Because coyotes are really bad. We had, mm -hmm. they, had a coyote they do. pulling dogs away from people off their leashes on a regular right. basis back in Charlotte County. Mm -hmm. Not my dog, they wouldn't take. No, he's bigger than them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dog Mom Kim says, had a great day today, Yay. about 59 degrees and sunny. Perfect for getting the potatoes planted. Very nice. Yay. Good for you. Clint says it's 64 here, wow. but I'm feeling but I'm, I'm freezing. freezing. Oh, Clint. <laughs> and there's Scott. Oh, you would Ramble. adjust. This is Scott with Rambling with the Brooms. Howdy, mm -hmm. y'all. Laying low, strep A, and COVID together. Jeez, oh, my God. gosh. That's, That's not good. I didn't. You, we don't hear much about COVID up here. No. And I, I keep thinking that, oh, it's gone. But. I'm sorry it's not going from you. Yeah. But trust says neighbor took a picture of a panther jumping his six foot fence. Wow. Now, Brooke, Brooke Trout, have you been down by Sharkies? They have the walkway going towards um, Casperson Beach. I've got videos of the alligators climbing the fence down there. Really? No, not videos, pictures of them climbing pictures the fence. Them. People don't realize gators can climb. Well, they're strong. I'll see if I can find one of those pictures and post it on there. I know I got it on my Facebook, but when I had my tea shop up in Florida, I'd leave early in the morning and go and walk the beach mm -hmm. and then stop by, take some photos in certain areas and then go to my shop and open it up. And I was walking through there and, and the cops were all over me about, you can't be down, you can't be down as a gator climbing a fence. And I pulled that time I was a journalist. So I pulled yeah. up my, my press badge and like, okay, just don't get too just close. Right. So, of course, yeah. I was right there with them. I was like, trying to shoot away, taking pictures mm -hmm. of it. Well, some of my friends had a <clears throat> gator stuck under their car, and they didn't know it. And the neighbor told them about it, and they called the police, and the police came and finally got the gator. He was really stuck under their car in their driveway yeah. and put it back in the canal behind the house. 
Amy at High Life and High Line says, in some areas of Montana, the bears never really went to hibern into hibernation this really? year, supposedly. Really? That warm. It's not good. Mm. Alone says, overnight lows in the teens and low 20s still. Mm. I wish we were having that. At least part of the time so we could have that go anywhere a season. Yeah, we actually let the, really we let the fire go out last night around we 8 o'clock, and it was still 60 in the house when we get up this morning. Yeah. And Lee wow. says, 20 inches of snow and ice here in Maine on Saturday, over 100,000 so still without power. Jeez. But you don't have, you can't have wood to keep your house warm, probably. You know, yeah. Remember the old days, you should have two two sources of heat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As she's dropping links, Ira says, we have a lot of tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, squash, and holding for good harvest and beat okay, the insects yeah. is especially the hornworms. Yeah. Mm. We bought, well, when Rob went to town, he bought the little. I bought our cedar, cedar, our cedar, cedar things, starter cedar packs. Starter packs. Yeah. Scott is dropping links. So is Ashley. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see. AK Frog says, here they are forecasting lows of 10 degrees oh Fahrenheit gosh. later in the week. Hmm, that'd be good. Let me take a look, see what it says for us. Let it come up real quick. Mm. And Billy says, no snow here. Last one eighth of an inch of pollen, though. Oh, Lord. <laughs> About one eighth of an inch of pollen. Oh. Yeah, Does no. that really bother your allergy? Do you have allergies? Do you just, is it just, it's just so strong that you can breathe funny anyway? Yep. I, I used to get allergies, even in New York, but in Florida, pretty bad. Here, nothing seems to bother me. Even the things that are bothersome. Yep. Clint says to Scott at Rambling with the Brooms, wow, hopefully you get well soon. Yes, Scott. Yes. We hope you do, Scott. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've never had COVID and I don't want to. I was so sick from the second shot. Yeah. No. Oh, never got the third one. Everybody's never greeting one another. No. It says 36 and snow flurries here in Valdez right now. Nice. And sourdough says, I saw all the snow was gone by my, mm -hmm. off my steps, still on the deck. Not sure if I can cross the creek yet or not. Afraid there, there might be too much water. Yeah. Banks. yeah. Yeah. True. So right now I'm looking at our forecast. Tonight, low is going to be 33. Tomorrow's going to be 31. And then a the night after that, be 24, then 26. And we go back up into the 30s at night. Mm -hmm. So maybe... Around the yeah, around the first, we're supposed to be down into the high teens at nighttime for a short time, and then we'll back into the twenties and stuff like that. It's mm -hmm. it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, so after, if I can't get much more wood in, I'll have to do it all summer. Yeah, ice has been an issue. Um, first thing in the morning when I try to go outdoors, uh, my boots—they're in their third year. They finished their third winter, so the there's no grippy things on them. So I have to get new ones, but we put sawdust out and it helped a lot. I don't feel slippery or falling, but she what a mess in the, in the house. Oh my goodness. It's terrible. Lots of brooms in case John Hogan's here. <laughs> Fall him around. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Uh, Marketplace Boutique says, Ermans are so cute. Yes, they, they are. are so cute. I've heard that they make pretty good pets, but I've never seen one small mm -hmm. enough that I can grab up. Back here, Trucker says, I want to visit Alaska someday. You need to. You need to. You need it's, to. It's, but addictive. Yep. Mm -hmm. You come once, you never forget about you it. You never want to forget. Go back. Yep. You always want to. Even Ashley's saying, do it. And Ashley yeah. hasn't been here yet. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to love soon, it. Though. Soon, though. Ashley will love it. You soon. will love it. Billy says to Clint, predicting rain tomorrow, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Be good to breathe again. Mm -hmm. right. I bet. That would be huge. Even Matt's garage, backyard truck, you will not regret it and may never leave. Oh, that's true. Yep. That's us. <laughs> backyard truck, oh, let's go, Marketplace. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, boy. Yep. 
<laughs> Clint, poor Zeus wants some loving, and he yeah. always wants loving, but he, he also, he, he, even when we're just sitting here talking back and forth, like if we get excited about something, he starts barking at us because he wants in on it. He does. So he doesn't get the jokes. Yeah. So he's he's seeing us talk to you guys, and he thinks it's going to be playtime. Mm-hmm. That's why we got to give him his ninny full of peanut butter to keep him quiet. Yay, peanut butter. <laughs> but he says, love seeing Zeus, he the star of the darling. show. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arm says, no need to, to be sorry. Zeus is fun. Adds great company. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And he's a beauty. Isn't he a beauty? One of the things that I was looking for when I found him was a pretty dog. Yeah. The others were small. He's not smart. He is smart. I got half what I was looking for and twice what I bargained for. Clint says, question, after all the snow melts, how long does it stay muddy usually? It, it all depends. Here at the house, right at the property. We're never muddy. We, we, we get muddy, but it's maybe an in eighth of an inch deep so it's mm -hmm. not bad um because we're on a hill and once you get past the clay layer it's all gravel mm -hmm. so it kind of drains away quick now if we get out to the tracks or even on the lower parts of the lower trail it's bad mm -hmm. the worst place is down by the tracks because mm -hmm. it's lowlands and at any given time we can have six inches to a foot of mud in places Sometimes it, it can get really bad if we have a really a lot of rain the trail will have a foot and a half to two feet of water on top of that foot of mud. So mm -hmm. that's not fun when that happens. Right. Now, the one bit of evidence that I remember is when we first came here, um, the real estate agent who showed us the place said, I'll be sure and wear boots because it's really wet down by the tracks. And we, it took us maybe a week to get up here and see the place. And by the time we got here, it really was not that wet. No. So that year, it dried out quickly. Some years it does, and some years it doesn't. Yeah. Ashley says, I've seen people use big pickle jars for eggs. Yeah. Mm, so if I, mm -hmm. we, I've only got one of those, and I need to find big it and, yeah. and start yeah. using it. Yeah. Let's see. Ed says, Clint, ground here dries fast. Mud mm -hmm. will happen when it keeps raining. Yeah. Uh, but generally, it's dry by 24 hours uh, after a good rain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Billy says, well, it is up here. It's that quick end, but not down by the tracks. Yeah. Billy says, what is the purpose for water glassing eggs? Because you can preserve the eggs. Unwashed, clean eggs, you can preserve them for up to 18 months to two years mm -hmm. if you do it properly. Um, the downside is once you do that, you will never have over easy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. They're best for scrambling or for um, frying or, scram or for scrambling or, you know, using omelets, things like that. I haven't tried hard boiling one yet. No, I, I don't think we have. But they're good for baking. Yeah. In cake mixes and cakes. She just likes her sweets. I do. Sweets. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Grizzly says to Clint, last year took all summer to freeze up, right? Oh, boy. Yeah, last summer was, yeah. last few, it last was two summers were really, hard. really, really wet. Maybe. Clint says, I think you can glass eggs and anything as long as it seals. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Scott's dropping links. He dropped them for um, Ed as well as Grizzly Acres, who shows up as Roger Boss. Um, Matt's saying the same thing about storing the eggs. Mm -hmm. Was thanking one another for sharing the links. Ed says, I used to work for a pilot that did FWC Panther surveys from the air. Oh. He would fly and the passenger would radio the would radio locate the collar the panther. panther. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I've seen those guys doing that down in Babcock Web a couple of times, but they were tracking something else. And I well, at least they said it was something else. I think they said it was uh some kind of deer. Hmm. They're and so little. Ward is in my nephew. Push the thumbs up button. Thank you, Ward. Appreciate okay. that. Oh, oh, I just hit something. Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh, if I just knock somebody's uh, comment out, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't even on. touch no, it. Was, it was Ward's that I was on, so it's okay. All right. <laughs> it didn't It didn't take it away. Oh, good. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Billy says, oh, well, sounds like Ed and Grizzly are at extreme ends of how long my last. Yeah. It depends on where, yeah, you're, where, where you're at. Yeah, where you are. Though. And the composition of the soil. Yeah. 
it all depends on your elevation like sarah said the the how your soil is is made up things like that you know if it's rocky or if it's sandy well it's not much sand a lot of clay right. so that that dictates a lot of that and if you're in lowlands mm -hmm. hogan says love all dinner almost here but we'll be listening sorry about your truck robert not a problem john mm -hmm. yeah i'll give you a call tomorrow brother yes uh, okay frog says we saw a panther up on the Grease highway near central alaska back in 2013 fish and wildlife and fbx said there was had been eight sightings reported wow. in the last 20 years wow eight in 20 years not, that's crazy not many not many everybody's saying hi and bye to john <laughs> And Lee says bears are a bit smaller down in Florida compared to the yeah. monsters in the Maine. Yep. Yeah. Florida's animals seem to be small except for like the hogs. The hogs alligators. are big. Alligators are big. Yep. Everybody's saying hi to Hogan. I was an analyst said uh, we had a lot of bear when I grew up in North Georgia. Yeah, mm -hmm. Georgia's got some bear population too. Mm -hmm. And there's my friend Kaido. What are you doing, Kaido? Yep. Everybody's greeting one another. Nice. Let's see. Clint says to Ed, I bet you dry out fast being up on the mountain. Yeah, yeah I'm sure I he bet. does. He's going to get a I lot bet more he does. wind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wind. Ed says, Naples had two black bears hit by cars in one year. Both mm -hmm. were in a 600 pound range. That's big. Mm -hmm. That's, That's really huge. big. For Florida, mm -hmm. well, they're probably out there in the Everglades trying to eat all those well, snakes. <laughs> and those that don't know, Adam. Th those that don't know, the Everglades are full of snakes that escape from some of the serpentariums in Florida. Um, we've got everything from little bitty snakes to king cobras running around down mm -hmm. in the Everglades, right. including 25, 30 foot anacondas. Right. So, not a place I like to go wandering around without mm -mm. having some kind of weapon. And Florida actually hosts a um snake roundup every year where you yeah, go out there do. and you just have open mm -hmm. season on any snake you see and just start shooting them mm -hmm. and they've had some pretty good size ones come back over the years mm -hmm. let's skip no everybody we don't one seem another. to have snakes there are no snakes in alaska happy for me yeah. i didn't mind the black snakes in florida they're kind of cute I had an adventure with one. He came down my sidewalk and I came around the corner of the house and we startled one another and I went, ah, and he raised his little head up and zoomed the other way just as quick as he could go. Brooke Trout says, I they're can, timid. Brooke Trout says, I can walk the shark. He's basically right across the, right across the Tamiami Trail. Wow. wow. Nice. Yeah. Pretty space, bro. Yeah. It's, yeah, I, so you're on the island then, Brook Trout. And John says, I'll put my old drugged up turtle against that. <laughs> okay, oh. oh, God. Oh, All right. So, no. back in the day when John lived on this one street in South Punta Gorda, um, we're down there hanging out, down with Swing Palms off uh, the Vermont Road. Okay. Yep. 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 I we're know. we're doing mm. something down at John's house, and John says, "What the f is that? There's a something moving down at the end of the driveway by the mailbox." So we get down there. We're we're doing something, and there was this gopher tortoise. Yeah, probably about yay big. He's gonna go out. I'll let him out. And we're just checking him out, and all of a sudden he started running at us. And I don't mean just you know one of these this sob was like his leg went like this and he's one of these he chased us back to the house john and i are like what the f is going on with that turtle is he on crack or something but oh my god it was hysterical um the, it, john can tell the story better than i can next time he comes up here we'll have uh we'll have john tell the, the stories of john's old neighborhood how's that because his old neighborhood was a riot there are so many different people, and uh, we had some strange ones down there. <laughs> <laughs> and not just the Hogans. <laughs> but yeah, it, when John comes up next, we'll have John tell some stories. Yeah. Um, and it says the roads are slushy during the day, icy yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Good morning. Sure. Actually, the, the roads from here to Anchorage were actually nice and clear. There was nothing on them. <laughs> A little bit of... Uh, once you're on the side of the road, if you get too far over that way, you hit the puddles. But I mean, 
no slush or anything. There's a mild winter here. Yeah. And Lee in Maine says, I'd rather deal with black bears and moose here in Maine than gators. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. I'm not keen on Don't gators. like gators. Mm -hmm. I had my run-ins with them. And sourdough to assist alone. Perfect breakup. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everybody's greeting one another. Ashley's dropping links. Brooke Trout mm -hmm. says... I had a snapping turtle in Wisconsin. He was oh. so cool. <laughs> had him for four years. My wife let him go without my permission. Oh, no. I was definitely bummed. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have soup that night, did you? Because they do make good soup. Oh, dear. They make good pets, too. Mm-hmm. Cato says, Florida back, black bear population is enlarging and territory expanding. Yeah, they mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. That's why they opened up the hunting season again. Yes. Billy says, Sarah, the older I get, the worse my allergies get. Yes. But I'm pretty lucky mine aren't as bad as some people I know. Never bothered me until my 50s, now 66 or 66 wow. now. Mine has been the opposite, Billy. Um, I was an asthmatic child and I was frail and this and that. And since we have moved to Alaska, I have a small sneezing fit and one one point of the morning and I've been really, really lucky. There are things I'm not allergic to up here. I wonder if this would work for you. Never know. Never know. And Ward says, how many courts did you go through? I think we've uh, gone through about six six cords this winter so far. That's about it. More than the first year in the cabin. Well, that, yeah, you. but it's also but half the size and it had a super efficient stove in it. At least half. That whole cabin will yeah. take up this, it will fit in this downstairs of this house. Yeah. It's 900 and something square feet, and this house is 1,900 square feet. Right. Yeah. That's true. And the, the stove over there is a blaze king. It's extremely yeah. efficient. This one here, once it gets warm in here, it holds the air. It does hold. But we, we lose a lot of our air by pumping the warm air down onto the house to keep mm -hmm. the root cell or the, the basement warm to keep the water from freezing. Yes. Hopefully next summer we'll or next winter we'll have a different system installed for that using yes. um, uh, water. Run through. Yeah, the... we're going to put PEX down there and yeah. have it go through a pump to pump it back into the back of the stove where the reservoir is mm -hmm. to keep the downstairs warm. It'll act as a radiant heat almost. Mm -hmm. And if that happens, we should go through a lot less wood. Yeah. It'll warm the under the house. Yeah. It'll warm the floor and the heat rises. And we I, thought, I, what? We thought about putting those little vents that used to be in the old farmhouses in the ceiling of the going um, to the second floor, going into the second floor. And after the first yeah. winter, we decided, oh, it's too hot up here anyway. So we're not going to do that. Yeah. But I, I over insulated the house, so it's it works pretty good. Now that we have the mm -hmm. crawl space insulated, now I'm actually going to add one more layer of insulation. Yeah. Way better than under insulating, I'll tell you. Yeah. Matt's, uh, Matt, P, Matt's garage says Western PA is good for occasional black bear mm -hmm. sightings. Nice. Yeah. Alone says the sourdough. I hope it isn't as wet as last year, right? Yeah, yeah last year was. Down by the tracks, it was a hot mess. Rick Trout says, I thought sawdust kept the ice frozen. Yes, no, it will. Yeah, well, it does. Because that's remember, if you remember when it started splitting yes, the wood out here, it, cutting the wood, it, we had true. snow there. That was the last place we had snow. And Zeus was max. It was a covered in sawdust. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it makes it so when you step on it, yes, it's ice, but it's. It Not, gives you traction. It gives you traction. That's the word I was saying. It gives you traction. Thank you very much. But yes, if you go back to the old days when they had ice houses, all the ice was covered in sawdust. And it does keep it from It does keep it melting. from melting. Mm -hmm. um, sourdough says works, too, too alone. Lots to be said for a slow breakup. Mm -hmm. Mud can be fun, just not for me. Right? Yeah. M mud. I don't get the fun. <laughs> And it says, yes, sawdust does preserve ice. Uh -huh. Rick Trout says, a few years ago, my camp, we had tent, had a fawn, uh, picks, and eight different bears on our trail camps. Wow. Mm. Nice. Well, here pretty soon I'll be getting some bear cat pictures, too. Yep, pretty soon. 
Um, Let's see how many babies. Ed, were. the listing agent for the property here was Deanne Autry, and our agent was a young lady named Alexis out of Anchorage because mm -hmm. nobody would talk to us up oh, here. Right. Mm -mm. So we had to go with somebody out of the city. Yep. Not from Florida. But, mm -mm, but now no we've way. got we've actually got to know Deanne rather yeah. well. We actually rented a, a tiny house from her when mm -hmm. we first got up here while we were waiting for closing. And she gave us a really good deal because she felt bad that we couldn't get in sooner. Yeah. It also happens that Tom, the guy that we bought the property from, was her boyfriend. It actually worked very well. That networking yeah. business works well in yeah. Alaska. They're good people. Mm -hmm. Uh, Berkshire says my wife works at Wawa, Wawa yeah. gets tons of tons of gallon Down. jugs. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of eggs with, with in them. Oh, nice. Yeah, good. yeah. Very good. Uh, Billy says I had no idea you could preserve eggs that long. Oh, yeah, yes, you can. Yeah. You can actually do it in salt as well. Mm -hmm. I just don't know the full process for, for salt preserving the eggs. It's a no, kind I of a know. system. There's Beto from... Uh, Brazil, good to see you hi, in here. Says hi, Robin, Sarah. Ashley says my link. Everybody's saying hi right. to Charles and Annalyn. Nice. Don't forget if you have questions, give us a couple of question marks or cues or a thumbs up like so. Mm -hmm. I guess it's not going to do it. Not going to do it. Nope, it doesn't oh, happen today. Oh, how's that? <laughs> Everybody's greeting Vito. Nice. Whoa, Mount Marina, big bears. Yeah. Did I miss it? Say something about bears? Don't know. I didn't see it. Oh, well. He did. No, I lost my place. Ah, oh, there we go. no. <laughs> Cato says North Carolina has uh, big black bears, 800 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's a huge black bear, isn't it? He's at the door. I hear him. And JR says, must go put some cinnamon rolls in the oven. Be right back along oh. Alaska. You have, have a while. I'm going to. I'm gone, or will you time, get a time out? <laughs> Come on. And Brito says, I have two black races in two days by me. Yeah, black races are good to have around. They're going to keep all the little vermin away. Sourdough says, no snakes in Alaska. Don't tell them that there are snow snakes here, and they bite hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lee, in a lot. Lee in Maine says, question, Sarah, I'm sorry I should know this, but were you originally from Florida? Oh, gosh, no. I was originally from upstate New York. I grew up on a farm, and my first husband and I had a, a cabin in the woods in, on a dirt road off a dirt road, which I dearly loved. Uh, the taxes priced us out of the place. It was seasonal. Um, and um, so... <laughs> snow and um ice and this kind of stuff is not unusual for me it's more like home it was really like coming home when i got here yep let's see lived in a lot of places though <laughs> it's, hey, uh, there's the alaskan the snowy pit viper it likes high <laughs> out, out houses ah uh, yes <laughs> Soupy. Marketplace put a laughy face with the turtle next to it. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt's garage mm -hmm. says to sourdough for sure. It's hard to see them in the snow with their camouflage skin, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last one, sourdough says to Ed, those are the worst, right? Uh, Marketplace says to backyard trucker, uh, ever have snakes in your outhouse? We haven't. Well, she's talking to somebody else. Somebody Backyard else. Backyard yeah. trucker. Backyard trucker, probably. Kaido says, I met a retired NYPD officer, CPT, who was in the Everglades wild boar hunting where a, on a small island, a 12-foot oh king cobra came in back of him. His hair stood up, and he killed it with his mouth. Oh, good. Oh, bad. Yes. Oh, my. I bet. Oh, mercy. No. Mm -mm. That's like in Boca Grande, which is a somewhat private island. You have to pay a toll to get across. There. Right. But yeah. Back back when I first started going in, it was the playground of millionaires. Now it's the playground of billionaires. Yes. They pushed out all the little guys, and it went from the average house about three to five thousand square foot to the average house about ten thousand square foot. That's outrageous. And they had an infestation of iguanas. They did. And they were horrible down there. I mean, you couldn't go. They 
100 feet on the road without running them over or scaring them off the road. You have to hire somebody to get yeah, rid they, of them. Yeah, they hired somebody to take them out. And I, I applied for the job, but they're like, oh, we don't want to use air guns. We don't want to scare the people. We don't want to scare what? the tourists. And, of course, in the end, what they do, they hire some guy with an air gun, and he couldn't shoot for beans. He put more holes in windows and cars and stuff like that than anything. And I'm like, should have called me. Yeah. I mean, they were paying that guy like $60 an hour to walk around and just take out iguanas. It made no sense to me. Brazilians have them. Yeah, back your trucker. No, not anymore. No, not that I know of. Mm-hmm. She says, I can think of better places to hide. <laughs> yeah, right? I agree. And this will write in Jason Upgrid Journey. Good to see you guys. How are you guys doing? PTL says your YouTube studio is showing real time data issues. Are you seeing anything of that sort? Um, I was actually having a problem earlier today. It would not let me upload a thumbnail to my lives. And I tried three or four different times restarting, tried it on my phone. It would not do it. So that, that could be part of what the problem is. They, they have issues. That's why it was the generic um, cover for today for the, uh, the live. Back here to Crooked System Marketplace, you are, aren't are going to use my outhouse, are you? <laughs> yeah, she's dropping links. Thank you. Uh, hey. Hey, hey, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Just be No honest. whining. Don't be honest. No barking. <laughs> Come around. Come Go around, see Zeus. Daddy. Go see Daddy. Come here, Zeus. Daddy will pet you. Come here, Zeus. And now he's going to be quiet when I'm trying, trying to get his attention. Yes, of course. Our dog is broken. <laughs> but we love him. And his oh, coffee no. walks and whatever. Good to see you guys in here. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I'll let no, him no. Friend. I've got no. to move something oh, out there. Oh, oh. He's, yeah. What have you got out there? Fish? Oh, no, sorry. I've got something out there that's wrong. Mm, yeah. Come on. He's got to move things around so Zeus won't bite things. Hmm. Good thing he's cute. Now, you want to know if you're a little butt nugget. What do you do? He ran back in as soon as I came back in. Oh. He is a scamp. I, no, I've got, the, I've got the fish hides out there tanning. That's what I thought. And I don't want him into that. No. I started my, um, my salmon leather last night. Mm-hmm. And as soon as uh, we're off here tonight and Adam's live and phyllis's live start from the last we cut the cord i've got to rinse them and get them ready i've got to find my board so i can start stretching them too in the kitchen sink yep oh. <laughs> everybody's greeting uh jason and loretta as well as coffee walks and whatever good to see you all in here grizzly acres says uh the very last homestead that was approved in alaska under the uh, act the guy claimed to he had snakes huh. where he was at he was 70 ish miles north of denali huh. now that's mm. gonna be is that the federal one was that in the, like the 60s yeah that's either 60 or 70. i think that was a federal one because i think harold yeah. actually had the last state Did approved he? homestead yeah, he that's what that newspaper clipping was that he showed me mm. mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah homesteading chip-tack. used to be very specific definitions. Yeah. Everybody's chit-checking back and forth. Nice. I'm not too far behind in comments tonight. Somehow this is happening. Let's see. Yeah, Brennan Jason. Thanks, guys. Going to look for you, and they're talking to one of the other channels. That's good. Mm-hmm. You'll find lots of good channels in here. You will. Good people. Ward says, good idea with the people and six cords isn't as bad bad for this year. Right. I went through just over four cords with fuel oil. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Now, that's that's not bad. Wait, what did we do that first year we were here? The first year, the first year with that cabin with the Blaze King, we only went through three and a half cords. Three and a half, yeah. That's a great little stove. Well, not that little. It's a great that's, stove. That's a Princess it's 32. Princess. Mm-hmm. Anybody's greeting coffee walks and whatever. Is nah. asking Jr. how are those cinnamon rolls coming along? Yes. <laughs> are you sending some this way? <laughs> it says cool. I know her. 
JR says, waiting for the oven to get hot, then uh, it is and happy, happy time. time. Right? Doc Watts is greeting Ward. It said mine was uh, Holly Stinson. She was on buying uh, Alaska TV show oh, a few times. A few okay. Times, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you got a beautiful place, that's for sure. Yeah. And I think, Ed, um, she has a place next to Ollie mm. on the lake. Mm. Meeting DM. Mm. Mm -hmm. I got a reply to Ollie's email too. We were emailing the other day. Let's see. Couple voices. Hi, Mount Mariner. Loretta says, don't forget to hit the like button. Oh. All thank you very much. It does help us when you guys do hit the like button. Mm -hmm. And Ed said they should make cinnamon roll scented candles or incense. Oh, yes. They actually they do. Think they do. They do, In but they're not the best smelling. They smell they, like it, but mm, yeah, it's not it's close. It's close, enough. but no cigar. Yeah. Yeah. Ashley says, I do believe they make those candles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, think, I think it's it, but it tastes. It doesn't. You better not be eating the candles, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it, but some smells taste in your mouth. Yeah. It's icky. <laughs> and they, they have that. That's not a good thing. Uh, it says, uh, light those in the morning and wake up everyone sleep, still sleeping. Of course, they will be pissed when they find out the no cinnamon, <laughs> no cinnamon roll. cinnamon roll. Right. Oh, that'll be bad. Right, oh, when I do my cinnamon rolls, bad. my cinnamon rolls take hours because it's all self-risen. It's not the pre-packaged oh, stuff. So good. Oh, and so if I'm going to be making them for the guests, I'll be getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning and start mm. baking like I'm in my grandfather's bakery yet again. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's I used to do them on Christmas, yeah. and that made a late brunch. We opened the presents, and then we ate cinnamon buns. Mr. Copan hello. says hello. Good. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. I think you're young, you're new here. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt's garage says worse would be pancake, bacon scented candles. Oh, oh that'd just make me hungry. That'd be bad. She likes pancakes. She likes bacon. She just don't like them together. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't. Uh, Jared says to Ed, those snakes in the outhouse live on low-hanging fruit. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Rick Russ says, we had a huge four-foot pine snake in the outhouse in Michigan. Oh. He was oh, no. not happy and mean. Oh, I bet. Dear. Not a good place for a snake, in my opinion. Ed says, I'm not picturing the old John Wayne snake bite first aid method. Just <laughs> cut that, cut, then suck, and then Ew, the poison out. Spit it. Nope. No. Nope. If you get you in the tushy, you're in trouble. Mm. Ed says, sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'll behave from here on out. Watch out alone and put you in time out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Ashley? I doubt it, Ed. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at Ed. Uh, yep, someone will get on a live. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Rob is probably going to take my blue coat, blue away. No, I won't do that to you, Ed. Oh. Not yet. <laughs> mm. He also says, it is my army. The lowest ranking would get that duty, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lee says to Billy, I know you live in the South. Are there any reputable rescues that have any red bone coon hounds available? Oh. oh, that's right. You're looking for a new puppy, aren't yes. you? Yes. Or a new fur baby. I shouldn't say puppy. Um, Grizzly says, yes, the homestead act that came, close, uh, came to close in 86. 86. Wow. That's later than I was thinking yeah. homesteading was. It says you just got a new fire. New fire New bricks for the King. Oh, seven years they lasted, That's and the good. catalyst is still good to go. Good to go. Good. Good. Yeah, the fire bricks will go quicker than the catalyst. Mm. Well, well, if you're burning it properly, yeah. mm -hmm. if you're burning it properly, mm -hmm. we've we've only at the cabin we've only cleaned the chimney once, and so little came out. It wasn't even worth that doing. Worth and for the last two years, nobody's really been in it burning the wood except for when we have guests up. So. Mm -hmm. It won't get clean probably for another two years. 
Um, Billy Sister Lee in Maine. Uh, not I'm aware of. I only occasionally casually, casually keep, keep up, up with the local shelters. I've seen one. Uh, well, now you're on a quest. If you see one, let me know. Now you're on a quest, yes. Quest no, for I've a seen her squint my eyes. And yeah, I'm, quest my for a cool are. Down. All right. Ed says, I need to put Ollie and you, those red rocket parachute flares somehow. Yeah. yeah. Well, next time you're in, if you bring them into town, Ed, I'll give you the combo to my truck and you just toss them in my truck mm -hmm. or even into the bed of the truck. No matter. Um, throw me a couple extra in there for Adam mm. for his snow mm -hmm. machines, too. Yeah. And there's Kevin Albrecht. It says, when you say six cords of wood, do you mean a face cord or. Bush cord. Bush cord. Uh, it's it's a full cord. It's a four by four by eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't it. I don't measure face cords. It's just it's a full cord. Mm -hmm. That's what the, the face cords and stuff like that is what you find on Facebook. Everybody trying to sell for three hundred dollars for a face cord. Which right? Yeah. No. That that don't fly. It's either you do it right, you sell the wood right, or don't sell it. It says, uh, I've got about 300 of them, so it shouldn't run out, right? Good. Yeah, Ollie yeah. definitely needed one that one night. Mm -hmm. He probably could have shot one of those things up in the up in the air and found his way to his cabin. Realized <laughs> he was across the lake from it. Wow. He was so, so, I was listening and watching that video. I was like, oh, man, that could have ended really bad for Ollie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, do an airdrop. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus. And there's my neighbor that has the cabin down of tracks, Mac. It's Flagstaff, Hi, Mac. Alaska. Says hello, all. Better late than never. Work still gets in the way of yes. fun. That's right, it does. Too bad. That's why I'm retired. Now life gets in the way of fun. Everybody's greeting Flagstaff and Kevin. Rick Trout says, "Yeah, no food talk." It's after nine. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet. Oh, oh drank, my goodness. I only drank my You'll dinner. You'll get silly. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, that's not good. Mm -mm. We're having left. We're having salmon. I took out uh, two fillets last night, cooked one up for oh, us for last gosh. night. And we have a second one that's already cooked up. Just going to warm it up. Warm a little bit of rice and some vegetable. Mm -hmm. And away we go. Mm, yum. And fresh bread. Yes. And Lee says to Billy, thanks. Uh, there's a lady there here that makes weekly trips down your way bringing back shelter dogs oh. some hound breeds that are difficult to find right. this way yeah nice yeah. i'm not saying hi to beto mm -hmm. ira says years ago when i was working on a peach grove in georgia i had an mm -hmm. outhouse and while using it a bat flew up oh yeah and <laughs> really scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, true story oh yeah yeah, no, we actually have bats up here. here. We've had had them in the house two or three times now. Mm -hmm. And luckily, they're, I'm not afraid of them. Yeah. And I just, they're little guys. I mean, their whole body's they're about little that guys, big. yeah. I just watch for them away from the land. I just go up and grab them and throw them back outside. Man, yeah. they're chittering the whole time of grabbing them up. We had them in upstate New York at our cabin in the woods, too. Dirt road off a of dirt road. They yep. fly through the hallway to the kitchen. Yeah. And Jer says to Ed, but you also use wood stove every other month, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Because hey, you're gone Re so much. Hey, Rebecca, good to see you. It's Rebecca Touched by Yarn. Oh, my goodness. How nice to see you, dear. I seen her over in Jerry's live earlier. She is a sweetheart. Mm hmm. <laughs> Can yes. you ship a dog? Hmm. I don't know. Yes, I think so. Yep. I you think can you dog. can. Mm -hmm. There's I usually people can. that take them and travel with them, or you right. can't, you can't yeah. ship them on planes. Yes. Um, if the dog, if you don't mind the dog being in the belly of the plane, and it only can be a certain type of plane, and it can only travel at certain times of year because mm -hmm. it won't go too cold or if it's too, too hot. Too too hot, yeah. It has right. to be just right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll give you two dozen. Cool. Ashley's dropping Rebecca's link. Thank you, Ashley. Iris says, I love salmon on the grill. Oh, I've okay. actually got to get a proper grill up here. I have an old hibachi that takes charcoal, and I don't feel like lugging charcoal up here. So I think I'll oh, try to find an inexpensive uh, propane yeah. grill. 
Well, we've got a propane stove now. For yeah, but it's but different it's from cooking. grilling. It is. It's just a, it's not a grill. Yeah. JR mm. says to come on, Jen. Uh, Mountain Doctor told me cinnamon was good for me, so I. <laughs> the best tasting item with the cinnamon in it, right? Absolutely. Cinnamon <laughs> buns, the best. They're good for you. Bruce the Acre says to add, uh, depending on the price, I may take a few dozen or so as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, lots of cut the cord says, I absolutely love bats. Yep. We, I get, don't we love get them in our belfry. <laughs> Uh, Rebecca Touchback Younger says, I was over with the four four ladies digging in the word. Good. Mm -hmm. That's Miss Christine and a few other folks. Nice. Coach Very says, I just did rewarding. salmon yesterday, not caught in the intercoastal. Uh, <laughs> I would hope not. Uh, I would not eat anything coming out of the intercoastal if my life depended on it. And there's my wild home. That's going to be Ryan and Melody. Yes. Hi, guys. Good to see you guys. Great live uh, language today. We yeah, caught yesterday. the sea lion on the uh, on the live. How fun! And Melody says your hair looks so pretty, Sarah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it it this is the way it dries. If I leave it alone, then the next day it's just fluff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it says the grizzly. They are free to whoever wants them. Three hundred meters up. Up there you go. Red burst and then float down on a shoot. Hmm. Why do you wind up with 300? Uh, that many of them, Med. That's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, AK Froggy is speaking with, with Vito in Portuguese, mm -hmm. Brazilian Portuguese. My Portuguese isn't terrible. And so is mine, and I'm Portuguese. <laughs> Everybody's green, my wild home. It says they burn for about a minute. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, beating my wall home again. Lovely. And sourdough says to Alaska cut the cord. How? Oh, do tell us your recipe. I've <laughs> <laughs> uh, been saying hi to Rebecca as well. Uh, Jr. says Alaska cut the cord dingbats. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Ashley's dropping links. Thank you, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh wow, I'm actually at the bottom. Wow, oh, that hasn't happened in a while. No, uh, Grizzly Acre says to Ed, I'll definitely take a couple, couple dozen. If not, if you don't mind, just let me know when you come to town and we can meet up. Okay, it says it'll be in town April 10th and the 11th. All right, yeah, Ed, when you uh, when you go into town, yeah. send me a text and I'll uh, I'll give you the combo to the truck or I'll have you drop them off at Mary's house. Mm. One of the two. Mm -hmm. And Matt's Garage says, one summer we discovered over seven, 70 mm. bats uh, took up resident in the gap between the outhouse brick and the framing. Outside that house, house brick, brick and the and framing. It. Oh. Wow. That's not fun. That's a lot of bats. Yeah. And his seashell bee says, hello, Sarah and Rob, and Hi. chat friends. It says, I get the entire Valdez fleet's expired flares. <laughs> <laughs> well. Excellent. Okay. Somebody's got to use them. Mm -hmm. And Ashley's dropping links. Melody and Ryan says, we have a hard time getting through comments, too. Uh, we get talking and then realize how many <laughs> right. have gone yeah. past us, right? Yeah. That's why I started skipping over a lot of the chit-chat and everybody greeting one another. I'll, I try to always acknowledge somebody when I see them come in and comment mm -hmm. for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, but skipping over the the chit chat between people makes it a little easier i mean i'll grab some comments as you've been seeing me doing mm -hmm. it just makes it go a little faster because sometimes i mean we've been a half an hour out on comments oh, yeah. and that's even skipping over stuff so it's yeah. not always easy especially if we're, we're telling stories or something like that you know about what's going on in our lives or in the past we need mm -hmm. to be able to you know let you guys understand yeah and then we get caught up and in the story yep and it's like a party. It's okay if not everybody knows absolutely everything that goes on at every party. Right. It's nice to, <laughs> to include everything. Bertrand, he's speaking Portuguese to AK Froggy. Nice. Yeah. I can I, I can read it, but I can't understand it. 
I've always had that no, knack. I've been able to no read way. foreign language, but I can't understand what I'm saying half the time. No. And like I said, I learned a little bit of Portuguese from my grandfather when I was younger. I just don't remember enough of it. No. Anybody saying hi to Corvus Tool? Lee says we understand. Ashley's dropping links. Okay. Anybody have any Yay. questions real quick? We get about uh just under a half an hour before we get to go over and see Adam and Phyllis. Ooh, ooh. They are so much fun. Yep. And Rebecca says, I'm busy making scrubbies for the meetup oh, uh, yes. in Oklahoma. Very nice, Rebecca. Yes. Scrubbies. What was that? Oh, oh was that was a log that was a log falling inside the, the stove. Yeah. Uh, Matt says they checked the Arctic attic and made sure they didn't actually get into the house. <laughs> the only gap in the outside wall, but still, right? Still, Maybe yeah. Let's go check that fire. That's sure. in your belly free. Right. Mm. Boy. Mm -hmm. We left me alone. I can't even read. <laughs> yep, y'all do it perfectly. Yeah, Hide. I don't know. I checked the ad. <laughs> Made sure they didn't actually. Okay, that's where we are. Uh, and Scrubbies. Matt's garage. Yay, too creepy for me to sleep. Uh, bats, yeah. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, Billy. Sorry, I am not Just on the page. <laughs> yep. Yes, we need to, we need to have... Uh, there's a fire going for when for um nice fresh loaf. That was bread. Mm -hmm. We did get a um a three burner, four burner yes. gas. How many burners? Three burner. Three burner gas um camp stove. propane camp stove. <laughs> and we're going to put that out on the front porch, and that will be our summer kitchen. Kitchen. Because the one we bought, you can it looks fabulous, but way too small. You, it's way too small. You can't really put two pots on the two burners at the same time unless one is tiny, and yeah. it just doesn't work. In my cookware is not tiny. No, there's nothing tiny about it. It's, some of it is too heavy for me, and I'm getting old and feeble, and it's not happy. Don't lie, guys. <laughs> when she gets mad, she swings it pretty damn good. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. But we're gonna have a summer kitchen, so yep. we gotta build a. I've got to build table a table out there, a bench board, board to go on, and screen the porch. Yep. I want to screen the whole thing up and down. You know. Matt Scratch says we put chairs in the yard each night to watch them leave the house at dusk. Oh, what that would be yeah, fun. It it's like um. Yeah. Was it we, Carlsbad cabins. Carlsberg. Stuff? It was yeah. Carlsberg cabins in Texas. No, in New. New Mexico, though. Mexico. I don't know. I can't remember. New Mexico. And um, they come out at dusk, and it's quite amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rick Russ says, so spring is springing. You doing? Greenhouse, yeah. Greenhouse, yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We actually have all, all our, our starter seed stuff here ready to go, and I'll probably start mm -hmm. the seedlings here, the seeds in the next week. During this week, yes. Yeah. Yeah, during mm -hmm. this week, though, that'll, that'll mm -hmm. get started. We'll do a little video on that for you guys to see yeah. what we're doing. Yeah, last year's my peas were like way up to here, and it was not good to put them the out, and they were still in the house. And but we did have peas. But right. my problem with peas is I pick them and eat them. Yeah, Rebecca says I have over 50 finished on the scrub. Oh Ooh. my, that's a lot of scrubby. You're a busy girl. Yay. JR says they rolls the roll smell tastes so good. Oh yeah. And I do, don't share cinnamon no, rolls. No, I don't oh. share cinnamon rolls. I'll remember that if you ever come up here. I'll make a big old pile of them. Nope, nope, none for JR. <laughs> Grizzly Acre says, Rob, next time you come to town, let me know and I'll have the Alpine uh this coming weekend. If there's still snow, I'll let you check it out. I'm around eleven mile. Marker, marker on the spur. Mm -hmm. We probably will not be in again until, until May. May. Unless I find a generator that I want to grab and run into town to grab it. That's the only way I'll be in it's, any sooner. It's going to be muddy any day now. No, it's not. Well, we got a couple weeks for the mud. But it's going to be yucky. Yeah. 
Not a problem, Clinton. You have a great day. And we'll talk Sorry. to you soon over at Adam and Phyllis's Live. Stay yes. safe, my friend. It's an email. Anybody saying bye to Clint? Book Trust says, see, need to eat something greenhouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Carlsbad, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Alaskan Sourdough. Yes. I know what that means, so I'm not going to say anything. I don't know. Abrigado. Abrigado? In Portuguese. Oh, abrigado. That's a word I remember. <laughs> Maybe is it also a little bit on the Spanish side? Uh, no. No? I don't, I don't know. Uh, Mac, someone says cinnamon rolls. <laughs> no, Mac, I haven't made mm. any. When are you coming up? I'll, I'll try to yeah, have some next time you come up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I just clicked on next time I'm up, right? <laughs> right, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, Mac, do you drink diet root beer? Root beer? Mm-hmm. What? And Jerry says, yes, I made a batch. Oh. Kaido says, taco time, real life Alaska just showed up. <laughs> Good to see you guys in here. It says, we need to build a greenhouse this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's rough having to wait till all the snow is melted yeah. to really get rolling. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, our greenhouse is on the second story of our barn, so it's an issue about heating it. But I'm working mm -hmm. on that, getting that fixed here too. Yeah, it's it's getting better every year. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Rebecca says I just counted 58 finished. Woo! Nice, good job. Uh, you're gonna, he's gonna, Max gonna be up the end of May. End of May. Good. So you'll That'll be getting be here. It's nice out, Mac. It'll be glorious. Well, uh. Once the snow's gone, I'll go down and get the uh, I'll check the battery on your on your wheeler to make sure it's topped mm -hmm. up. It'll be fine. And Kaido says, come on, click. A woman in Pennsylvania was recently attacked by a female black bear and almost killed her. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sugar free. Mm -hmm. Did you find my bottle? I found your can on the side of the trail. I've tried, I thought somebody had been up on our trail. So it was uh, probably one of the days I just, you guys were walking, probably fell out of your backpack. And I found an empty can sitting in the snow. I'm like, who the eps on my trail? I don't see no <laughs> it, footprints. It had just melted. Yeah, it was probably to, buried to by snow. It. But yeah. and I'm going to put it on your front step. <laughs> Keep your litter. <laughs> it was silly. It was, I think the last time you were up here, it was kind of windy. So it probably blew away. It probably blew away. Mm -hmm. And let's see, Matt's Bradshaw has a question. Topic for Alaska Cut the Cord tonight the elusive and deadly Alaskan outhouse snow viper. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they will do funny things. Max says, Oh, I can. Yes, I stopped uh, to um, pee and forgot to pick <laughs> it up. Shame on you. Rob picked it up. I picked it up. And I'm going to take all of mine and dump them on your front step now. <laughs> No littering in my hood. <laughs> nah, I won't do that to you. No. This time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we get about uh, 15 minutes for Adam and Phyllis start. And the last <laughs> cut the cord. Yep. So I guess it's going to be the uh, the pit viper tonight, huh? <laughs> the snow, the outhouse snow viper. Is that what you're saying, Matt? Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's there. Oh, that's Max says, my bad. No <laughs> problem. I've got to go down and check your batteries oh, in your in your um, cameras at the cabin too, Mac. Uh, mm. The one down the track is. Yeah. No, <laughs> Mac, don't worry about it. I'm just busting your chops. You know that. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. <laughs> I at first I was like, Some, hmm. we thought it was fresh. Yeah, or new. Yeah, that was. And fresh. then we it dawned on Rob that. You the snow had been melting. And then and, and that you drink the, the sugar free root beer. Right. And it's pop. So but don't ever do it again. Right. <laughs> you silly man. Anyways, um upcoming things we got going on. It's Pearson in the house. Mm-hmm. Up in the greenhouse. I've got to make a sifter to sift out all the soil. Mm -hmm. Get all that ready to go. Probably if everything goes right, I should have some kind of heater installed in the barn in the next month mm -hmm. if I have the right, enough plumbing for it. We're just going to have it in there for the winter time just to heat it up in there so it grows better. Because I know Adam and Phyllis had their waste oil drip heater in their greenhouse, and when they put it in there, everything went ballistic. Mm -hmm. So it we're did. hoping it to do the wild. same thing. 
<laughs> Max says, I won't do it again, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's silly now. Uh, Matt's Garage says, that's a new twist on, on yours and Sarah's live. Live from Robert and Sarah, Alaskan <laughs> Hood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, um, mm -hmm. We have some small building projects going on this year. We're going to build a garage for all the machinery. Yes. We're going to build a small garage. garage down by the tracks. I'm waiting to hear oh, back yeah. from the train about what the setback easement is so right, I don't right. get in trouble because they've been causing problems in Talkeetna about people building too close to the tracks. Mm -hmm. And if I build a small shelter to put the side-by-side -side or the wheelers in so the bears don't chew on them, I don't want it getting ripped down. Right, so, and we don't want it being plowed under either. Well, so it's that not going to be that snow close. plow, yeah. So mm -hmm. we're waiting on information on that. The other things we're going to do is we're going to build a, another outhouse because this one down there where it's, it's at, I don't full. like I don't like the location and it's full. Yeah. So we got to find a different location for an outhouse, build a new outhouse, build a smoker. Smoker's first thing that's going to get built and then build the area for the sawmill to be moved to. Mm -hmm. So if it, the way it's um, we are good. going to leave the old outhouse because of the history of the property. Yeah. Hey, Mac, are you driving up here this next time, or are you going to be driving up with that truck sometime? Let me know. Sure. And Billy says, great live and great chat as always. You're welcome, <laughs> Billy. Thank you, Billy. Max says, right where the freezer and box is would be a good place. Well, I've got to find out what the setback is. Uh, technically, yeah. they might yeah. be too close. So I've heard it's 50 feet, and I've heard it's 50 yards. If oh, it's 50, 50 yards, yards. we got a ways to go. Yeah, we can hardly keep track of the train coming by that yep. far yeah mm. it's just opening oh, on this one here and smoke. uh i need to build a new shower sauna and new workshop and woodshed and yeah. smoker glad yeah. about the smoky yeah smokers yeah, first smokers. and foremost for us um so this is rob is making me tired construction season <laughs> this year <laughs> yeah it is well i hate Almost. to tell you he talked about the house being done never gonna happen yeah no she's gonna Not change constantly every time he gets something done well i think we should do something else over here yeah and as tony from mitchell's in alaska good to see you tony hey, brooke trot says yeah smoker now you're talking now we're right talking, yeah and max mm -hmm. says yeah that's a ways back yeah mm, that's far yeah Ed says he thinks it's 50 feet, but yeah. like I said, I've, I've got Vern, who, who's a conductor. He's been conducted for he'll, the train for years. He'll he'll know. Looking into it to find out exactly what it is for me. Because I know there's a few spots in Talkeetna where people had planted trees and the train went through and cut down the trees and told them they had to move buildings, things like that. So I want to hear from the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. If the horse's mouth can't tell me, I'm just going to call the state and say, what is it? Because... We People don't do realize right. that the train is state owned. It just has its own sub entity from the state. Right. So some of you will give me an answer. There will be an answer. Let's see. Sardo says, Sarah, my wife just finished the closet I built 10 years ago. <laughs> yes. JR says, uh, most step backs are 50 to 100 feet, depending on the location and needs of the railroad. Where is the railroad, Mike? We yeah, have where's railroad, Mike? Right, right. I don't think Mike knows fully either. I don't think he does. Because there's been a lot of debate it, on that lately. There's, well, there's debate, yeah. Yeah, Ashley's dropping links. Mm -hmm. And Ido says, hot or cold smoke? I'm going to do a cold, cold smoker. smoker. Yeah. I prefer a cold smoke for my fish. Mm -hmm. Max says, where does it measure from, the rail or from the gravel? That's oh, what that's I need to find out. That's another good question. Yeah. Or the end of the ties. Yeah, see, oh, yeah. that's all the yeah. things I've got Very to find out questions. because it's important. Because if I, I don't want to have a problem with them, we've got a good reputation with them, and I'd rather not tarnish that. And they're a tremendous resource for us. Tremendous resource. And Lee says, Rob and Sarah, how far is your nearest, na closest neighbor? It depends if you mean full time or part time. If it's part time, a half a mile away. Mm -hmm. Matt comes up about three to four times a year. Yep. Um, full time, about. About three miles away. Three? John. Jonathan's not more than three. Yeah, I think it's about three miles away. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. And he has a trail that comes off our back trail that goes off in an opposite direction from where we come up the hill. He goes off into another direction. Yeah. And I've only been a little bit far on that trail, on his trail. Yeah. I've only been to a certain point as well. Yeah. Uh, Grizzly Acres says the flag stop should be like roads from the center of the lane. Ah. 
And JR says, center of the rail, I do believe. Oh. Pedro says, nice. How about a sauna? Yeah, sauna will come in time. Yes. We have the shower and the tub, so we're right. not worried about a sauna right now. In time, we do want to put one in, though. And we have a, a the first tub that we bought was too narrow for Rob's shoulders to slunch down in. So it's out in the yard, yep. and it'll be the hillbilly hot tub. Yep. And it'll probably get used here as soon as I can get a, some scrap wood in here. Mm-hmm. And let's see. A.K. Froggy says, uh, the failed Houston Point McKenzie Railroad went close to our place, and they cleared 150 foot right of way. Wow. Huh. Yes, yes. Well, I, I need to there's, find out exactly from yeah. somebody that actually knows. 150 feet. I don't think there's any way to clear that in some spots. Parts well, I can clear it. It's not an issue. It's just I'd rather have yeah. the, the side by side everything closer to the tracks. Yeah. Then we, we need to be able to see it and hear it coming. Yeah. I mean, because there are places that have little shelters right at the tracks. Um, right. The Lovells have one. Our friends Tammy mm -hmm. and Kevin have it. Yep. Um, yep. Stuff like that. And the the one that uh, Tammy and Kevin had um, was that was there been before. There it's been there. It's been there for years. It has a precedent. Yeah, it's been there a long time. Jerry says, "Think we need to get Rob, Adam, Ed together with too much to drink, and I get the <laughs> video rights." <laughs> Could be good. Yeah, Mac, hillbilly hot tub. <laughs> yep, you've seen it, Mac. You know where it's at. It's actually I've uh, been using it to melt snow lately right uh so does the flag top the flag stop you might have started something tourists would love it yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. saunas fix everything says brook mm -hmm. trout mm -hmm. um jr come on stupid thing jr says 50 feet would probably be for siding. for siding 150 feet probably for siding mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to find out exactly because I, I just don't want an issue. Exactly. You know, I mean, are they really going to be going more than 50 feet off the tracks to do work? Highly doubtful. Right. You know, and it's then it'd be they haven't yet. Yeah. They, they haven't yet. Um, the bear boxes are how how far back are the bear boxes? The bear boxes are maybe about 70 feet, okay. if that. That's, that's kind of doable. We can still keep track of. Yeah, at that, at that but point. we're just worried about you know because we get all the money invested in the the machinery like the, the yeah. side by side and the right. wheelers. I'd rather not have a bear chewing on stuff. Exactly. I don't want to come home so with a whole bunch be... of groceries and have flat tires because a bear's been chewing on them. Right. And That's no upholstery no on the seats. Right. Ashley's dropping links. I think that's for Adam and Phil's live. Yes, it is. Oh, good. Matt's garage says, um, "You look at the left side of the." You know what train you can see Denali. Mm -hmm. On the right side, we have our locals, Rob and Sarah, with their hot tub. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, but no, the hot tub is way us. up the hill. We're a mile from the We're tracks. A mile. It says a JR, we need the three amigos outfits for the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that'd be a fun oh, live. Oh dear. Uh, Jess is maybe <laughs> 75 feet from the center. Sounds more yeah. reasonable, right? <laughs> and Trust, come on. Brooke mm -hmm. Trust says someone will show up with a tape yeah. measure and want some money, right? Right. That's that's probably true. Yep. It says lots of alcohol and ammunition. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I got word, Ed, after I get back to town, three bears had three thirty-eight. Oh. Win mag. I'm gonna find this out after I get back to town or no, back home. Back home from town. Yeah. And Rebecca says, see you guys over the last cut the cord. Yes, Yay. we'll see you there. Kaido says, uh, Rob, do you and Sarah like German brat herring and vinegar? I don't I know. Do. I don't know if Sarah does or not. I don't know if I do or not. I lived in Germany for a while. Part of it in <laughs> a bus and a tent. Now, Ed, you're, you're going to get both Adam and I beat if we did something like that. It's just possibly some scantily clad ladies. Yeah, right. Not. <laughs> you might get beat I look too. way better covered up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I right. want to thank all of our moderators yep. for being in here, sharing like Scott, Ed, 
JR, yep. Ashley, Old School Alaska, Miss Alone, Adam and Phyllis. Absolutely. And all of you guys have been in here listening to us babble on. <laughs> it's great that you listen because we really we appreciate you being here. We do. You guys give us something to look forward to every Monday, <laughs> you know, night. You know, we get to come in here and we get to BS with you guys for an hour and 40 minutes, hour and a half, something like that. And then we get to go over and listen to our friends babble for another hour and a half. <laughs> You know, so, so it, much it's great. Fun. You know, we we party night have all gotten to know all you guys through our chats. It's really good, you know, that we all can get to know you all and learn a little bit more about your life as you learn about our lives as well. Hang on, what's that saying? It says three three eight one max stays in the store for about half a day. You're right. All yeah, goes. all yeah. gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just saying bye. Sportman sold on nine millimeter half a day ago. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. let's all head over to Adam and Phyllis. Check them out. Pester them. Good night, AK. Uh, Tim from AK Doug Mom. We'll see you over to last cut the cord. And Lone says, thanks again for the company tonight. You and everyone listening in the chat. Greatly appreciate you all. Yes, we yes. appreciate everybody Good here. Company. AK Froggy, hopefully I'll be able to meet you over to Garden Like a Viking in this next video because I've just been so busy. I haven't had time to do anything. And it's getting worse. It's probably going to be like that for the next six months. <laughs> yes. So Anyways, when we can do all kinds of fun things. Ashley, if you're still in here, drop another link to Adam and Phyllis, please. So I mm -hmm. can make sure they get over there and pester them. We will see you all over there as well. And until next week, we hope you guys have a great week. Absolutely. And we'll see you next time. Have a great night. I know. Bye. Thanks again for showing up and listening to us tonight. <laughs>